Hi guys, this is SDJR7F88 speaking with an overview of the Strawberry and Cream Special. Now as you know, the Strawberry and Cream uh, Special is the special train that will be running on Compton Martin. And it obviously consists of strawberries and uh, milk, <laughs> you know, the dairy product. Uh, hence the Strawberry and Cream Special. Um, basically, uh, a few of you wanted to see what the train looked like. And I thought it was about time to show you the, well, I, I, I thought, well, I better listen to what you, you, you've uh, viewers uh, said, um, comment on my videos, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll put it together because I've had even uh, formatted the train yet. So this is the first time that the the stock and the locomotive uh, have all been together. But um, this is the main combination that it'll run in. Uh, the locomotives may vary on uh, certain uh, trips, and also the brake fan may vary. But this will be the most common uh, formation, I think. Uh, starting at the front of the train, we have of course, the uh, Batman uh, standard 3MT tank in her stunning uh, early BR livery. Again, this one's a Sunset and Dorset number. Um, I did a review of this, so I'm not going to go into too much uh, depth on the actual locomotive itself, as I did a really uh, jam-packed uh, review of that not long ago for my uh, one year uh, on YouTube special. So if you uh, want to see a review on the locomotive, uh, please check out that review. Anyway, we'll start moving on to the actual wagons themselves now. And sorry if the camera's going to shake a bit because I'm going to have to zoom in because uh, I've got loads of Compton Martin uh, scenery in front of me and I'm trying not to knock any of it over. Uh, but we move on to the first uh, van on the train and it is a Dapple Fruit D van. Now uh, this is obviously where all the strawberries are going to be uh, on the train. Uh, I've, the reason why I chose this van is because one, it's a nice looking van. I've always liked the um, like these sort of large box vans. Uh, not very many of them are on the market, although quite a few, uh, well, uh, at the moment, but quite a few have been announced. Uh, Hornby have announced uh, an LMS CCT unit. Batman have announced a few Southern Parcel vans um, and stuff like that. So there are a few coming on the market, but this is the only one which is actually uh, probably available at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're really, really good uh, vans. Brazil 2044 has one. He has a GWR one. This one is BR Maroon uh, weathered, so it keeps in the, with the BR period of uh, Compton Martin. Uh, another reason for choosing this uh, van is these were definitely uh, commonly seen in the area, uh, and actually moving for actually moving strawberries. Uh, these were quite common on the Great Western branch through uh, Cheddar. Uh, also known uh, common that uh, nine. Uh, Sorry, that line, <laughs> getting modelled up here, that line was commonly known as the strawberry line. So, the obvious traffic these vans would have uh, uh, carried is strawberries. And hence the reason why um, Compton Martin being near this area, and also the being a part of a GWR uh, connection to a branch, which would have connected to the strawberry line, uh, hence the reason why the, the, there are strawberries on Compton Martin. <laughs> uh, got modelled up there, but got there in the end. Anyway. So yeah, that's where all the strawberries going to be too on the train. Uh, she is weathered. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. I didn't weather that myself. That is a factory weathered one. All of the wagons on this train are factory weathered. Um, I could have I could have done it myself, but um, you know, they, I thought it'd be a bit easier just to get them uh, factory weathered, especially with the next item of rolling stock, which is the tankers. Uh, as you know, I'm I'm still practicing on how to weather the uh, tankers up at the moment, although that went wrong on the oil spill and obviously these do not carry oil they carry milk <laughs> so this is the dairy part of the train obviously and these are uh, basically will sit in the sidings at Compton Martin being it being the dairy siding uh, where they would collect the milk from the local dairy um, which happens to be in Co the real Compton Martin uh, and basically the Great Western uh, pannier tank or Great Western locomotive whatever is running We'll come in with a local passenger train or a, a load of vans and stuff, you know, maybe a few more fruit vans. Like I said, because the combination will change, there may be more fruit vans, maybe more or less tankers on the train, you know what I mean? Uh, and basically the Great Western train will come in with the fruit van, shunt it into the good shed or flash or another shunting engine will. Then it will formate the train uh, by connecting it up to the dairy uh, tankers. These are, oh, these are again Dapple tankers, by the way, <laughs> forgot to mention that. Um, these uh, will be awaiting in the dairy siding and they will be uh, the train will be formed in the siding and then it will be uh, coupled up to a brake van and obviously then the 
3MT or whatever uh, locomotive will take it onto the Somerset of Dorset to be uh, obviously to all, for all the products on the train to be sold in Bath or Templecombe around that area basically far and wide basically with the, the, the um, with these products anyway uh, we move on to the last wagon uh, on the train which is a Batman uh, BR GWR Toad <laughs> well XGWR Toad shall I say now I've done a review on this one again already but the reason why um, I chose a GWR van uh, again to go on the rear of the train and a few, I'm sure a few Somerset of Dorset fans uh, will probably say well technically you should put a BR, uh, well anything that's not GWR on the back of the train because uh, as you know Somerset of Dorset fans don't like the Great Western which is why Compton Martin is going to be quite controversial uh, on the exhibition scene. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I chose the GWR Toad for this specific rake is because of its actual, um, you can actually store stuff in the guards compartment. These were commonly seen again on the Strawberry Line, which is the you know, Great Western. And they were basically used on the back of trains, obviously as a brake van, but also the compartment acted as an extra storage place for more strawberries, more fruit, and also milk churns. So I thought it makes sense to add this to the back of the train. So yeah. That's a quick overview. Sorry if I've blabbered on a bit and got myself modelled up as I always do with these sort of reviews. <laughs> but um, yeah, there it is. I've, well, I've managed to get a nice shot of it all in. Now, um, this is the, 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 the sorry the video to follow this, or, or it might be joined. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, uh, the, there I'm going to show it running now. Uh, there's going to be two engines running. Uh, originally, as you know, this is on the main layer, not on Compton Martin, sadly. But originally, I was going to have um, a review, another review before this of a new engine that I mentioned on one of my Compton Martin updates which uh, won't run on Compton Martin because it's too big but it's a Sunset Dorset engine, I gave you a few clues about it but that was going to run on the line that, that, uh, that the train's on at the moment but sadly I got the engine out of the box and it was the first time I ran it and it was a, a non-runner uh, it was a factory, there must be a factory fault with it um, it does move but it jerks I, I ran it in for an hour, it still jerks, it sort of hobbles along, like limps, it you know, bounces. So uh, obviously I'm gonna, I've, I'm sending it back to Signals and they're going to send it back to uh, Batman and they're going to see what they could do with it, hopefully. But um, as a substitute, there will be another engine running, which will be Flash, if I quickly pan around. There she is, with a little good strain, mixed good strain. Uh, she'll be appearing, uh, like, well, like I did with the second part of the Batman uh, free MT review. Uh, sadly, as always, Flash doesn't like points and she gets stuck on that one pair, just that one pair. So uh, the shots for up this end of the layer uh, won't feature Flash, uh, but on the rest of the layer it will. So anyway, <laughs> finally got there in the end. Um, that's the Strawberry and Cream special. So this has been SDGR78 speaking and uh, thanks for watching.